Hi everyone, Hermano here, and welcome again to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to install Linux Mint on VirtualBox, and I'm going to also add the guest additions on there. So let's get started right away. So the first thing you're going to do is to go to the Linux Mint website at linuxmint.com and go to the download tab here. You can choose between three desktop environments, the Cinnamon, Mate, and XFC. So for this video, I'm going to choose the 64-bit of the Cinnamon desktop version. And in this case, I would just click here and select the mirror closest to me. And then I will be downloading the ISO, which I already did, actually. So I can close this window. And I'll open up VirtualBox and create a new machine by going to New. And I'll type in as a name Linux Mint. And as you can see, the version is already Ubuntu, which is correct, as Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu 64-bit in this case. And I'll give the machine 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I'll create a 160 gigabytes hard disk and then click Create. And I'm going to tweak some things in the settings. And under System, I'm going to select to install on a UEFI system and also bump up the processor to 4 in this case. And on the display, I'm going to give the maximum RAM and enable 3D acceleration. And under Storage, Empty IDE controller, I'm going to connect the ISO. And that's going to do it for me now, so I'll just click OK and start the machine. So it's going to take a moment to load up the live ISO. So we have a few selections here. The first one is to start the live image. We can also start in compatibility mode or OEM install. For this demo, I'm going to choose the first line, so I'm just going to hit enter. And it's going to take a moment to boot the live ISO. And there you go. Now let's select install Linux Mint here and give it a double click. And now we are into the installer. So I'll choose English as a language and click continue. And this is for the keyboard layout. Again, I'm going to choose my Swiss keyboard. So I go down to Switzerland and select the German keyboard and click continue. If you're installing this on a laptop or a desktop and you have third-party software or graphics required, then you will check this box here, install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I would recommend this, especially if you have an NVIDIA card. I'll let this on, even I don't need it, and click Continue. Now we have a few choices here on how we want to partition the disk. So we can erase the disk and install Linux Mint, basically installing the system on one partition. We can create also encryption, or we can create also a LVM if we need to do that. And we can also custom partition the disk here. But for this demo, I'll select the first option here, and I will erase the disk and install Linux Mint. So I'll click Install Now, and confirm the selection by clicking Continue. And now I can select my time zone. In my case, it's Zurich. This is correct. And now creating a user account, so I'll put in my name. I'll let the computer name as it is, and my username is fine, and I'll just add a password. And hit continue. And now it's going to install the system. So it's going to take a moment to install everything, so I'll be back when it's done. So the installation now is finished, and we can restart the system by clicking restart now. Okay, let's make sure that the ISO is not anymore connected. So I'll click on devices here and I can see that the ISO is not anymore there. So I'm fine here and I'll just hit enter. And there you go, we are on the login screen. So I'll type in my password. And we are in Linux Mint. So let me close up this window here. So let's check if the guest additions are already actually active by clicking on the View menu. And I can see they are not, and they're probably also not installed. So before we can install them, we have to actually install some packages. So I'll open up the terminal, and I'll type in sudo apt get update to check first that all packages are up to date, and enter my password. And it seems to be fine. So before I'm going to install the packages I need, I need to know which kernel I'm using here. So to do that, I'll type in uname space dash r. And we are on a 4.15 kernel here. 
So now I know which packages I need to install. So I will type in now sudo apt-get install. The first package is the build essential. So build dash essential. And then I need the Linux headers. So I'll type in Linux headers dash and then the number of the kernel. So in this case, 4.15.0 dash 54 dash generic. And I'll make sure to install also some other packages. And one of them is GCC. Then we have make and Perl and hit enter. Yes, I want to continue. So I just hit enter. And it's going to take a moment to download and install everything here. So I'll be back in a second. So there you go. Now we need to reboot the system to make sure the packages are in place. So I'll type in reboot and hit enter. And I'll log in again. There you go. So I'll close up again this window here. Now let's go to devices and click on insert guest edition CD image. And it's going to ask us if we want to run the software. So this time I'm going to click run and enter my password. And it's going to install the guest editions right now. So the installation is done. We need to reboot the system. First, I'll press enter to close the window. And then I'll go down here and restart the system one more time. And I'll enter again my password. Now, if we go to the view menu, we'll see the guest editions are active. That means we can actually now resize the window and the desktop will resize accordingly. There you go. This is how to install Linux Mint on VirtualBox with the guest additions. I hope you enjoyed this tip. And if you want to see more, make sure you like the video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover or you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.